All right, it works. I'm shaving just a little bit off of those uh, dominoes that go in here. Full length dominoes in the back piece. I believe that's what I did. Whatever, when I take them apart, I'll, I'll mark them and put it back together that way. So let's stand it up here. clamps, which I believe I'm ready to do. Got the sunlight coming in here, kind of messing things up a little bit, but I, I enjoy it. be a nice piece. Alright, I've taken the time to make center lines on this. Um, this will serve as drawer runner uh, on the inside for both drawers. And then I'll make uh, something similar on the outside as well. But this piece is kind of critical that it be centered. And then uh, what I did was uh, those center lines, I brought them up on the back piece and the front piece, then drew a line across across here. A well, reference line. I'm not sure I'm going to need it, but I did it anyway. This reference line here is flush with the with the front piece. So I've measured this, and it happens to be the offset. I believe is just the thickness of this credit card. So that's how, what I'm going to offset my fence by, is that thickness. And then, once this is in place, I can drop this piece in. Well, I can if this, if this clamp wasn't so tight. Well, you have to trust me. This, this center divider will drop in on, on top of this and um, act as a uh, guide to keep the drawer from going you know out of whack so that will be my my center runner or side runners I guess that's what this will be here so anyway I've got this set to go I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this domino in this piece I'm gonna cut this in the wide uh, dimension or you, you could do it vice versa but that way it'll give me the ability to slide it where I want and center it up. I will do this while I'm at it, is make marks on both sides so that I know when I've got it where I want it. It'll be between these pencil marks. I'll also have this to guide me as well. But Anyway, I am going to uh, domino this, put it in place, and just keep kind of building off of this platform. All right, now the divider. Now this worked out pretty nice. You drop in like this. Square it up. And then just basically glue it in place. I need to cut it to length, or height, I should say. I've got these parts made uh, for both sides. Uh, before I glue anything in here though, I, I'm going to use this type of clip to hold the uh, top to the base. And it requires that I cut a 7 16 uh, saw kerf, a 7 16 uh, inch away from the surface to be connected to. So I'll just run a uh, thin I take a thin curved blade and run about a quarter inch depth uh, on each of these pieces. 
the sides, the front, the back, and then on this one, I believe I'm only going to go on one side. I don't, there's really no need to cut it on both sides. One, one uh, kerf will be enough for that. So I will take this apart and make those cuts first. All right, this is in place temporarily, or just, you know, dry fit. I got my kerfs cut, and I'm just about to place this center divider. What I'm going to end up doing here is gluing this in place, and then uh, com coming through with a couple of screws on the bottom to just reinforce it. But doing it this way, I can I can slide it into the position I need. Make sure it's perpendicular and parallel to my lines. Okay, I'm going to come this way a little. I'm just going to do this by feel. I've got my glue on here. Not a lot. Because this is not going to be that big of a... This is not going to be under that much pressure. I guess I'll put it that way. Got this in here. Make sure I'm flush here. And then, I'm going to make sure I'm parallel, and I'm not. I'm just feeling along the ridge here, make sure I have the same amount of clearance. That feels pretty good right there. Yep. That's good. It's gonna be good. Okay, I like that. I'll get this one, then I'll come back. Let me give you a quick look of how it's coming here. Uh, I'm going to hold off filming for quite a bit here because I want to uh, glue up this main uh, table legs and uh, frame assembly. I'm, I'm not going to show you that, but so once I get that all together, then uh, this, this is just sitting on top, just to give you a conceptual idea of what it's going to turn out to be. Then I can go up to work and make two drawers. Uh, but you always want to kind of get an idea of what's, what you've accomplished so far, and so far I like what I have here. So I'll... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this glued up. I think that it's time to do that. Th these have all been pre-sanded on the front. Um, the legs, everything has been sanded to 150. So I'm, 
because it's being painted, that's good enough in my book. I'll come in and break the edges of all this once it's together. Uh, I don't want to get carried away. Sometimes I do and break the edges like here when you want that to be nice and square. Uh, so I'll make sure everything goes together tight and then uh, come back and show you how things are going for the uh, drawer build.